this, well, I mean, I've started, but, you know, give it a couple seconds to start. Yeah. And So I already know how this goes because I've watched the anime. Yeah, I have no clue. Yeah, so I've sort of ruined this for myself. Um, it, like, I saw this before it came out in the States, uh, the anime. Um, okay. So I already know who did it. Um, I, I, so it's a, what, it's a mystery, or what the, what's, what's the deal? I, um, I have no clue what the hell this game is. Uh, my chinchilla says hello, everyone. Um, Using some eyewear, I see, huh? What's that? <laughs> Nothing. Two thousand thirteen. Uh, yeah, it came out last year. Both of them came out last year. Uh, Dick Rumpa one and two uh, were released in the states in twenty fourteen. Because the copyright there says 2013. Yeah, but it also didn't say NIS at all, if you noticed. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, uh... What is this game? What's going on? Did you play it before? I've not played it, but, uh... This is the first time you're seeing it. Okay. Hope's Peak Academy brings in the top students from every field imaginable. Government-funded school of the privileged. So, uh, it's like... Is this a uh, digital-only game, or did you actually... I, I, this is a physical... I, I, I own the physical game. Alright. The Vita, man, they got these weird-ass games. Yeah... Yeah, they do. I mean, it's even more weird than, like, you know, anything that's on, like, 3DS. I mean, if you want a weird library of games, like weird Japanese adventure games and, and, and RPGs, the Vita is the place to go. Yeah. Yeah, it is. but a hopelessly average high school student. Yep, he is exactly average. Um, so, uh, it's, uh, it, it's revealed, I, I don't know if it's super spoily, it's revealed later on that the one thing he stands out in is luck. Like that's so everyone in this that he that is that you run into is um like exception uh amazing in one way or another. Uh like it's the um like they're the smartest in their field, uh they're the best swimmer in their field, best baseball player, uh, you know, for their grade, that kind of thing. You know, they're amazing. He you know, looks like a completely average student, but he is the... He has outstanding luck. And that's what separates him from everyone else. And this is a adventure game slash... It's a visual novel. novel. So, uh, basically, the way that visual novels work is you're presented this story, there'll be some voice acting, um, there's a lot of reading, and then there'll be some interactive bits, but a lot of, like... Uh, sort of like choices that you have to pick yeah a choose your own adventure or choose your basically, own basically yeah yeah those games these types of games have been more and more popular over the last few years well they're easy they're cheap to produce you can do them relatively yeah. quickly you can push them out um yeah there's not a whole lot of interactive like you know programming it's just you know coming up with the art and translating 
and obviously the story, the writing, but. Yeah, so, uh, like, the lead singer for, like, the po a pop group, uh, baseball player. No. Oh. <laughs> Ultimate clairvoyant, yeah. Ultimate biker gang? Yeah, yeah, right. So you're just this average guy thrown in this world of like, or this like, what school of uh, like these? Of, of best of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you have no idea why, for the most part. And it's it's revealed later. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a spoiler that like, I, I think he wins be like through a lottery. And basically, the theory behind that was whoever won through the lottery is the ultimate luck kind of thing. Um, oh. So and and that ends up being it ends up being true. Like he does have the best luck. So this school is just trying to gather all these top-notch students for, like, what reason? Um, it, like, it's a social experiment, I think, is the reasoning behind it. Um, so, like, uh, you know, like, what happens if you put the best of the best all together in one place and, uh, you know, like, have them work together... Uh, so it's like a social government experiment. Um, yeah. So that's, that's the, uh, you know, reasoning behind it. It's sort of like a government think, think tank, except with high school students. Mm -hmm. And Twitch is acting funny again. It still says there's one person watching, even though... Yeah, it's you there's and I. Least two, even though there's at least two watching. Okay, yeah, we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Oh, uh, here, okay, okay. all right. Oh, 2014, so set in modern day then, huh? Yeah. So here you go. This is when it starts. This is when you figure out what's going on. Okay. So you walk in and every you basically black out. The 
this is so kind of stereotypical Japanese RPG slash visual novel where it's all really wordy in the beginning as opposed to just being like grab you by the balls action oriented So you're just using the analog stick. You can't use like the touch screen deal with. Well, uh, you, 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 well, uh, I have a PS4 controller, so you can do touch stuff. But uh, I, I've had that disabled. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't work the same. Well, it does. It's just um, there were actually a couple of games that uh, when you like click in the sticks, uh, it it would turn into. Uh, like a, a touch a touch thing yeah. um and that was like for more action oriented stuff was kind of getting uh, annoying oh yeah This is a whacked out classroom with yellow giraffe spotted wallpaper and a surveillance camera and boarded up windows. Yeah. Well, even he like starts wondering about the boarded up windows. kind of funny, because, uh... Yeah. Dankenropa! How many of these games has there been, at least in the U.S.? Uh, two in the U.S. Uh, there is a... This is number two, or this is there's two. There, there are two that have been released. There's a shooter that's out, and I think there's a third one that's been announced. <laughs> we do have someone who is excited to see us playing this. Uh, is it? Yeah. Is it always been a, gra a graphic novel, or why am I thinking that this should have been like a two D kind of Gradius style shooter? I like, don't just, know. Or am I just getting the trigger happy? The trigger happy thing is, I, I don't even know where that came from. Uh, there was some kind of bullet hell game that was like trigger happy something. Or uh, maybe I'm wrong.
Yeah, so the second one does have a spin-off. Um, it's like a... I think it's like a third-person shooter. It's relatively weird. Um, I, I don't really understand that at all. Um, and also, the, like, the third one's on the way. All right. I'm going to Google this right now myself and... There was a one on uh, PSP I'm seeing. I'm, that might have been Japanese only or Japan only. Uh, <laughs> Dangren Rapa 2, Goodbye mm. Despair. And then another episode, mm. Ultra Despair Girls. And then something on iOS. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Spicy. Where the hell am I thinking Trigger Happy, though? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, we were talking about the, uh, we were talking about the, uh, anime earlier. Okay, so, so the shooter so takes place between one and two. So I, when you say shooter, though, are you in, are you meaning like third person shooter, first person shooter, or like a gradius shooter? Gears of War. Oh, that's why I hate the term shooter. It's shooter is designated. Well, I definitely for, said I'll, third person a couple of times. So, yeah. oh, oh, you know, if you'd been listening, you didn't say third person. I said it a couple of times. I don't think you did. And the third person shooter, that was on uh, Vita as well then? Yes. Um, I, I doubt we'll ever see that over here. Yeah, it, it might have to do with that, or it could just be Nippon Ichi's weird localization. <laughs> I wonder why they chose to bring this game over. I mean, is the anime, like, do people really know about this? It's game? A, a lot of people really like this game. Really? Yeah, a lot of people. And it actually sold relatively well. And it's, you know, really easy to bring over because all you're doing is basically localizing text. Exactly, yeah, they're just translating it over. I mean, granted, it's a lot of text, but... Come on. 
Oh yeah, these are full retail games. Yeah. Uh, game stops. Okay. Oh, here you go. You can get them relatively inexpensively. A Danguin Rappa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls, is coming out in September on Vita. Really? That's what In America? Says. Yeah, that's what it says right here. Wow! 40 bucks. September 1st. Wow! So then that would be the third one. So there's Den Denrin Rappa Trigger Happy Havoc, what we're playing now, and then two. Uh, two. And which then is good Goodbye Despair, and now you got another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Well there's also three it is coming out is not out in Japan yet, but it's uh, been announced. Right. Okay. Like that's not even out in Japan yet. Oh, Trigger Happy Havoc is a revised and revamped edition of the title originally released on the PlayStation Portable in Japan in 2010. You take on the role of Makoto, a desperately, uh, a desperately average uh, teenager who somehow finds herself accepted into Hope's Peak Academy, a prestigious high school normally reserved for the nation's ultimate students. But when he arrives, he and the other students soon find themselves trapped in a battle against survival and against a twisted mastermind who has taken them all prisoner. You have to unmask the villain and uncover the secret of it's, the school or die. It's around. a lot like uh, uh, Phoenix Wright. Ah. That's what they're uh, in chat. They're talking about that right now. Oh, yeah. There's a thing here. Uh, mock trial. Mm -hmm. The nefarious Manukuma. I'm saying that Mono right. Mono Bear. Sir. Oh, is that what that is? Kuma means no, bear. Mono is mono. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Mono bear. Uh, uh, I don't know why they didn't translate. It, I don't know why they left it Kuma. Kuma means bear. Well, the, the bear serves as a judge, jury, and executioner as you engage in deadly wordplay, going back and forth with suspects, dissecting their statements and firing their words back at them to expose their lies. Oh, so it is like Phoenix, right? Yeah. Except it's uh, slightly different because everyone's life is on the line. Mm. Oh, and then I guess you can play with uh, Japanese voices if you want. Which, I, I set it to that because I don't want to listen to the American ones. Oh, yeah, I, I have to listen to the stream with no, uh, with no, with no sound. With no audio, so yeah. Yeah, so I, so, yeah, I guess I could have figured that out if I was listening to the uh, audio. Yeah, Vita's got a lot of these weird-ass Japanese games. Well, we're crushed by the development team. Huh? Oh, so people were playing, uh, I guess people were playing this in, with, like, Let's Plays, and it was popular, huh? Oh, I guess Monokuma was left as that by the request of the development team. Yeah. That's what I just said, if you were listening to me. I wasn't. At all. Oh, I know. Because fuck you, I'm reading. <laughs> yeah, you got, it's hard to stream and play and concentrate and talk. I wonder how long this game is. Um, I have no idea. Fun. And this this might, you know, a game like this could very well require more than one playthrough. If there's multiple endings and different paths. Uh, well, no. If you fuck up, you die. Ah, okay. Never mind then.
ありがとう。If you fuck up, you die, just like in real life. Um, I've seen the anime, so I know what's happening. Uh, Zach has no idea what's going on. Yeah, I got no clue. Cool. So is the anime just. This is basically the anime just in kind of like interactive format. Then. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you have to play it. But yeah, I guess that's what interactive、yeah. means. Right. So overall, it's just a, a different way to experience the story, the anime. Yeah.、Um, also, the anime was being released in Japan before this was released in the States. And I definitely.、Uh, it could require. Require multiple, but only because it's impossible to spend maximum amount of free time with everyone on the first round. On the first、oh. round. Oh, God, this guy knows his stuff. Yeah! How long was the anime? Was it just like a typical. I, a I think it was like it? 13 episodes. Alright, okay. Only like one season, though?、Only、yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it just tells this one story.、Uh, yeah, it just tells this one game story.、Um, and you have to, like, figure out it, basically who did what, and then. Solve the case and then you can move on, and it just kind of like keeps going in that manner until you figure everything out. And then it a cliffhanger, and I had to, and I spoiled some of the second game for myself. Oh, so this bleeds over into the next game a little bit, yeah. Like, what there, there's a bunch of like weird shit that happens that they didn't really talk about in the anime. Um, boy. How long has the anime been around? Is there like other spin offs or just this one season? It just seems like. Oh, okay, so they cut a lot of stuff out. Characters are completely different. Anime was 13 episodes. Yeah. Wow, this game is 20 plus hours. Oh, wow. I, I heard, I've heard a lot of complaints about the localization of this game. So much text, I mean, it's all text. Well, no, that they like would just like slip random shit in there that doesn't need to be there. <laughs> like, I think they did a good job, you know. Even on the stream, like it looks like it's, you know, HD, you know,、uh, yeah. Like they, like, like, like they up res it from PSP to Vita. Yeah. Was it 2013? Yeah, because it, it, and this came out last year here. Because、um, I was actually、uh, interested in playing the game、mm -hmm. and got the game, like, right around when it came out and just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. How long have you been sitting on this? A、uh, couple months. Yeah.
So did you hear something that uh, today there was a big uh, Mac or iPad or I iPod iOS show and they're releasing HBO now only on these iOS, this portable iOS device? Really? Did you hear about this? Huh. So it's basically like the new version of uh, like the iTV. But it, it, and, and if you want to watch just standalone HBO, it's like, I think it was 15 bucks a month uh, without having like a regular you know, cable subscription or anything like that. You can only get it on these iOS, these new iOS devices. $15 a month is a little expensive for just HBO, though. For, for just HBO, exactly. I'm pissed off because... Here in Chicago, we have uh, Comcast is the big yeah. internet guy in these parts, right? And they fucking blocked the HBO Go app on Xbox and PlayStation systems. So I was like, that's the only time I watched HBO. It was like, you know, Game of Thrones. They had some good movies on there and stuff. Yeah. And Comcast being the assholes that they are. Uh... No, suppose it, like, they slipped in a crazy Eddie joke uh, in one of the trials in this, and it's like, that's, like, Nipponichi likes doing shit like that randomly, um, and it's like, just shit that's just clearly not in the Japanese version. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was uh that was what uh a lot of people were bitching about that I heard of uh in the localization of this. I've seen that bear around. Oh like yeah, that, uh, like uh, avatars and yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Like, randomly all over the internet, and I was like, "Where the hell is this?" I thought it was like from like an Atlas game or something. No, well, Naponichi, they're pretty much the yeah, same company. They're right; it's pretty close. I just assumed oh, it was no. from some like Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't know. Like the way that things are going with uh, uh, Naponichi, just the way they kind of let shit keep slipping, uh with like earnings and shit it's like I don't know how much longer they're going to be a company I think they make games or I should say bring games over that are like out of Nippon Ichi versus like Xseed versus Atlas I think they release the games that are like the most weird uh, have the, the, mo the biggest like chance taking by releasing these games over here because they probably got, you know, a very small audience. They're not going to sell a bajillion copies. <laughs> well, I haven't played through it to, like, really make a judgment either way on... Oh, and I'm not saying that the original was a flawless with, you know, no dumb jokes either, but... Um, I I don't know. Like, it, Naponichi, it, it kind of does a crap job of uh, catering to their audience. Sometimes, uh, it it just sometimes it just seems like they don't read the mood right of the game they're trying to localize. Uh, Hyperdimension Neptunia. They made uh, Neptune kind of sound like a valley girl, which wasn't the right voice acting choice.
Dude's hair looks like corn on the cob. Hey. Only in an anime. Or a video game. <laughs> or just a video game in general, sure. Or a, or a video game based on an anime. Fair enough. Now you have a tutorial. Yeah, right. It's pretty weird how the can't like even though it's presented in, in like as like a two D game. I mean, it, things like move and rotate. Yeah, like, in three D. Like cardboard cutouts or something like a diorama. Ooh. Which is pretty weird. Yeah, this game is does kind of get very weird in well, like even the death scenes, uh, the execution scenes are weird. Yeah, some of the puns are, I'm pretty sure, original.
Right, later. Thanks for watching. Yeah, take it easy. So you have to kill somebody to get out of here. Yes. So yeah, that's the uh, prologue. I know, I was re yeah, I was reading that. So that, I guess it like makes sense now. Like you kind of got to get up to this point to like figure out what this game is all about. Yeah. So you're the best of everything and you get into this school and it's just, yeah. all right, well, you're trapped in here now. If you want to get out, you need to kill someone. Right, go, you know, now go after it, you know, who's the who's the best at life kind of, you know? Well, and, that, and that's graduation, and if you graduate, you're guaranteed success later. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing that they don't tell you, uh, that he didn't say right there, that if you're caught, that when you kill someone, uh, if you're caught having killed someone, you're then killed. So you, you have to kill someone and then get away with it. <laughs> See, he didn't really explain that. No, no. Um, so what, you got to find that out the hard way? Well, 
Uh, I think they explain it pretty quickly, because they killed, like, uh, someone dies pretty quickly I, in the anime. I don't know how it is in this. Yeah. Uh, they, it, like, yeah, someone's gonna be dead pretty soon. Uh, and you have it when someone dies, like, you never see anyone kill anyone else. Uh, but then you, like, have a trial. Like, there's an investigation yeah. period, and then there's a... Oh, uh, uh, and then they, that determines if you did it, really. Well, there's an investigation period, and then there's a trial period. Yeah. Um, and the thing is that, um, at, at least, uh, in, in the anime, if... So the way it works is if you kill someone, you get to leave, but there's a trial. So if you get caught, you're killed, but if you go, if they, like, find someone else is guilty and they didn't do it, everyone besides you dies. Oh, jeez. How, well, how, like, who uh, dishes out the the death penalty this little bear comes and kills everybody or yeah yeah what? he's judge jury and ex executioner how, but how does he kill people then is he just like what oh they're all like them? that that rocket thing it's like yeah. all elaborate deaths <laughs> or like here just this bear is gonna explode if you don't throw it right away well no it's like so uh they're they're all kind of like so you're the best at x and you killed someone so where it's going to be like divine retribution with you being the best at this thing. This game's pretty uh this is like the the dark version of Phoenix Wright. Oh, it's super fucking dark. It's really good though. Yeah, I kind of get it now. Like if you kind of played up to this point, you know, you you play this first uh, hour here. Now you you start to understand yeah, and it would have probably been uh, less than... Like, it's been 45 minutes. It probably would have yeah. been less than that if we weren't, like, pausing to chat. So, yeah, yeah, talk, right, right. yeah right. talking so, yeah, to the for, yeah. chat once itself. You, right, right, once you get the, over this first hump here, now I can understand why people want to play this game. And, yeah, there are two of them, and they're all pretty interactive. Yeah. Uh, and, like... It's it's really fucking interesting. Like, a lot of the murders, like, they're really subtle shit that you have to figure out. And, um, I guess, like, the last trial, it's kind of funny because, uh, one of my friends was playing it and he's like, Dude, there was this guy that was convinced it was a ghost. And half of the fucking trial was convincing him it wasn't a ghost. And it's, and it's like... I, I literally just wanted... It was like, there was an option that was like, ghosts don't exist, that I wanted to keep hitting. And it's like, I knew that if I hit it, I would lose. And I just wanted to keep jamming it. I'm sure this would be a pretty good interface for the touchscreen Vita, too. You can just kind of click on things. Yeah, you can tap shit, and it'll fucking, yeah. like, give you information. Right. At least it works with the PlayStation TV, though. That's good. Yeah. Alright, so here's where it, like, looks at the rules. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. 
additional school regulations will be added as necessary. You can get punished if you sleep not in the right spot. So far, would you rather play the game or would you rather watch the anime? I've already watched the anime, so I don't mind playing the game. Yeah. Now, is it really just repeating the anime, or has there been... I know it's still early in the game, but... Um, there's been some... There, There's more to it already. So even if you watch the anime, there's still something for you to check out, basically. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I think that's a pretty good look at this. Yeah, I, I yeah, like I said, you kind of get over this hurdle, this hump here in the beginning, and you figure out what's going on. It's not so bad. So here's the question: Are are you sold on it? Would I play? Like, I would rather play this game than like read a book. But, oh, okay. You know, because it's 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 like an interactive book, I guess. Uh. But it still has a very uh, niche audience. You know, not everybody's going to be buying a game like this. Um, I prefer something with a little bit more action to it. But at the same time, I still like I get it now after watching this. You know, for an hour, I I, I, I can see why people can get kind of hooked on this. But um, it's just a, it just like this is like the great game to play like when you just want to chill you don't really want to think about anything you just want to relax kind of and just uh, enjoy the story yeah so it has its own merits audience. right I mean like there's some days you just want to come home and you want to play uh, Destiny because you want to shoot something this is a game where you just kind of want to more relax and just enjoy a, a decent unique dark story you know yeah um, so tell them about yourself. Where can people find you if they're interested? So I am Zach Azarowski, and I am the editor-in-chief of MyGamer.com, so definitely go there. We post all of our streams there, a bunch of reviews, previews, news, all that kind of good stuff, blogs. We got the, the podcast. We, we're, uh, we got a few episodes up or a couple episodes up now. Um, so yeah, check out MyGamer.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at ZachGaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z, and you could uh, check out my personal blog, at squallsnake.com. Uh, also, we're always looking for additional writers, so if you're ever interested in anything like that, feel free to let us know. Um, I am Dan. Yeah, check, check out the forums. You know, post something in the forums. You know, we'll find you. Yep. 
Um, I am Dan Gilman. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Gilman. Um, you can check out my personal website, varms.net, or mygamer.com, where I am the PC editor and overall guru of all things media at the... Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I'm in charge of the podcast, the streams, everything fun like that. Making um, shit work. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. So that's us. Uh, hit us up, check out the forums. Uh, so that's us for this week. Yeah, we might do another stream again later this week. I got a really crazy schedule, so I don't know if I can make it, but maybe uh, Gilman and New Guy can do a stream if I'm not here. But uh, we'll be posting our backlog streams. We got a couple up in the hopper. Uh, that we can post up live. So if you miss it the first time, you can check it out again. All right. And we'll see you all later. Game on.